Okay, who's ready for another installment of the sketchbook tour? This is sketchbook tour part two. And um, let's get going. Next page we're going to cover is something I call the Alpha Gator. And there's Alf in some water looking like an alligator, which is kind of weird, but. What I was trying to do here was to develop sort of a style I liked on the water and clouds and that nighttime look. And I guess I liked it well enough because I did actually, you might say, remix into another illustration that I later turned into a print as well. And this is the same sort of setting that that other one was in. And the subject of this, of course, is not Alf. It is Astro Nautilus from the Outer Space Men toy line. So that's what that is. Came from the Alphagator. Alrighty. Let's turn the page and see who's up next. All right, we have us a superhero team. There's Joey on a Stegosaurus, and we see him over and over. Our old friend Super Pie, El Santo. Um, Mr. T, Alf, and Feral Boy. I have some good friends whose kid, when he was younger, would dress up like the Feral Kid from the Mad Max movie and wave a boomerang around <laughs> and uh, run around without a shirt on. So um, that's where Feral Boy came from. And so I made a superhero team. And can they save us? You betcha. Okay, that's getting kind of crazy. What's next? Okay, trees so old, the moon made a point of passing through their branches just to hear some good old tales. That is a line from a book I was reading at the time from the Alvin Maker series by Orson Scott Card, and I liked the line well enough that I drew a tree and a moon and branches, and just trying to illustrate that line. So, 3Dev Adam. Have you ever heard of that? Let's hope not. 3Dev Adam is a really, really, really terrible Turkish film that features, believe it or not, El Santo and Captain America battling a group of evil Spider-Men, a gang. And there is a really cool fight scene, but aside from that, oh man, it's terrible. So you can look up on YouTube, Three Dev Adam, and see what that's all about, if you have a stomach for it. Uh, you've been served, sucker. There's a battle cry for Super Pie. And I gotta say, I was, I was starting to kind of get the hang of it. Those letters look pretty funky. And we got a Captain America-like pose there. How about that? These are my friends Jenny and Matt, and this is reenacting a scene from um, a performance they gave at Ukulele World Congress, which is a kind of a, something I go to sometimes. It's in Indiana in the summer, and it's kind of a woodstock for ukulele players. You camp out. There's a field with a stage. It's pretty awesome. And this next page is also a reenactment of someone's performance. This fellow, Dirk, is a friend of ours who lives in Germany, but he was had come over for UWC, and he sings a song about chicken vindaloo. And there's a line in there about not putting cheese in it. So these chickens are cooking Dirk up. And they don't want any cheese in that either. <clears throat> I believe we had gone and gotten our car washed and it was probably one of these guys and so I I guess I fantasized that they would become a band this is all made up super suds car wash enter y'all come back I do kind of like this little kid with the ice cream cone all right man we're blowing through this one I should have gone and gotten the print also because I remixed this one into a nice 11 by 14 drawing also of this saw playing alien in space 
shaking maracas with one of his other tentacles and he's playing a saw. And notice he is playing on the correct side of the blade as opposed to our old men on the bench before. Sometimes playing music feels something like this. So if you can look at that guy and tell what he's feeling, you know what music feels like. Is that it? Oh, there's a page there. Another terrible movie, Robot Monster, but it's a classic. Robot Monster is an alien who's trying to kill all the humans. Uh, basically an ape with a space helmet. And he's singing the hookalau song on his, playing his ukulele. And he's on a moon and there are aliens. Robot Monster says, everybody hula. And there's our baseball. There you go. Everybody knows what this is. You know, I, the Monike Nico, the little beckoning cat. Um, I thought his hand looked kind of like he was giving a salute. Uh, and so I kind of made an army of those guys. And he says, hi, old hairball. Meow. And I forgot. I actually have one of those sitting up here. <laughs> so there's not much I don't have hanging around the old drawing table. So... There you go. That's Army of Cats. Okay, this next thing I was going to turn into, I was going to do like the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. I only did two. It wasn't a great drawing, so I kind of lost interest in doing the others. Also, I didn't want to put the amount of thought into coming up with something funny, but Joey Ramone on a Stegosaurus and Mr. T riding a My Little Pony unicorn trampling on the skulls of the fallen. So, I think we got fire going on. We got lightning. That is just nuts. Okay, what's next? Ah, maybe this looks somewhat familiar to you. Robots in a Treehouse. This is the original idea one night as I was sitting and drawing and I drew robots in a treehouse. And I liked that well enough that I did a drawing also, which I made into a print. And I think you may have seen that on the site, but it's robots in a treehouse. And they're not on a moon, but they do have a baseball. And a pizza. This here, there was an old Spanish cartoonist um, who is dead now, and his, he went by the name Boyk's Car, which is like box car, but with an I after the O. And I was trying to work on his style of drawing because it's just beautiful. Uh, he did a series of comics in Spanish called El Mundo Futuro, The Future World. And I was inspired by it. I really like that moon. There's a lot going on here. These craters are cool. Um, Boyk's car never threw a baseball into his moons as far as I know, so. And despite the fact that this guitar doesn't have any strings on it, I like the way the fabric came out. I, I think that's a pretty cool drawing. So, ah, now these are ideas for greeting cards. Friends forever, there's our old friend again, a robot with a teddy bear. I love you this much. That robot's got him a stuffed bunny. Isn't that sweet? And I guess I thought I would do those too. And then I think I was watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 and perhaps Gamera was the feature on that one because here's Gamera and there's our friends from the Satellite of Love. Gamera loves all children. That's a line from the movie, Little Kid. He doesn't know anything. He's just a kid. Ah, two more greeting cards. This time we got a real dog and a real cat. You are my best friend. Oh, you're my best friend. Warm and fuzzy with a kitty cat. That little robot girl's got her a friendly little cat. Isn't that the sweetest thing? All right. This here, let me explain, is... Gargatron from the Big in Japan science fiction novel series, written by my very, very good friend, Timothy Price. 
and it has to do with like a rock band and uh, kaiju in Japan and all over the world. So, excuse me one second. <coughs> there you go. And Tim, when he was doing, this is the original soundtrack that went with his audio book. And he even let me illustrate it. Isn't that sweet? So there's Gargatron there. And some of his other characters. There's our little guitar guy. Got some fighter jets. What else we got? On the back, some of the other characters from the book. So there you go. Big in Japan. Gargatron. All right, what's next? Make sure I don't miss anything. Hey, look at this. While we're speaking of kaiju, here is the ultimate kaiju, Godzilla, fighting our friend, El Santo. And picture this in your mind. What if you took this whole scene and turned it around backwards? <coughs> Should have brought me a glass of water. Well, I think you'd see the words backwards, but you'd see Santo in the foreground and Godzilla flying the other way. Too bad I didn't think to, whoa, look out. There you go, Kaiju Libre, part two. Okay, I think we're getting toward the end. Tim actually, Tim gave me this one too. Tim, Tim's Godzilla and Kaiju toy collection is unbelievable. And so he gave me this Godzilla one day and said, don't take the tag off which is probably a good thing because I like to play with my toys. Okay, well there's a kaiju, now that we're on the theme, here's a kaiju Alf and he is terrorizing a city and all the cats therein. If you don't know anything about Alf, A-L-F stands for Alien Life Form. His real name is Gordon Shumway and he eats cats. This is something else you can spend your evenings looking on YouTube and watching. All right, and Tim was trying to develop another kaiju and wanted my help, and so he described him to me, and I was working on him. I don't think he ever got used. Not a great drawing. Uh, as I've told you, I play the musical saw, and so this is step-by-step -step instructions. Take a snapshot of that. You'll know how to play the musical saw. Uh, try this. Wiggle the right foot for spooky tremolo. Oh yeah, that's cool. All right, another Godzilla one. And Godzilla is saying his trademark screonk and eating a crystal hamburger. There's a stack of them there. And wants more crystals, please, because they're so darn tiny. But I kind of like this little dainty napkin thing with his pinky up in the air. Um, if you don't know anything about crystal, but you know White Castle, they're the same thing. If you don't know either one, go get your burgers wherever you want. Okay, one more, and we're done with this book, Return of the Shroom. This is Mel O. Mushroom, who is one of the characters from the uh, Atlanta-based pizza restaurants, Mel O. Mushroom. And... A friend of mine who owned one of the Mellow Mushroom restaurants was going to close it down to remodel and reopen and wanted a t-shirt design. And I think he didn't do things according to the way corporate wanted and they yanked the store from him and closed it down. So t-shirt was never made. There you go. There's the end of sketchbook tour number two of four and the end of sketchbook number one. My Moleskine sketchbook and my Pentel pocket brush. So thanks for watching. Leave questions, leave comments, and uh, you guys are the greatest. See you later.